Good morning, guys. I was genuinely not sure if I was going to start this video by speaking. I thought, you know, maybe we'll just have a quiet morning and not talk, and I'll talk to you guys once my hair appointment's over. But we're gonna go ahead and, you know, start the video correctly. But right now it's 7:27, and you may be wondering, I was like, why are you seem a little energetic? Like first thing in the morning, you just woke up. Um, first of all, I had the worst dream that it woke me up immediately. I had an alarm set for 7:30. I woke up at 7:11. That's how my morning started. And then I went to put on my slipper and I was like, hmm, something feels weird in my slipper. Okay, I'm kind of freaked out. So I took it off and I tried to like tap it. Nothing was coming out. And then I decided to reach my hand in because it felt like it was just like a candy wrapper or something. It was a f roach, bro. A dead roach in my shoe and I still have chills. I don't know how the f this shit got my house honestly the way i leave like my patio door open sometimes for my cats to come in and out it gives like full access to every creature imaginable but i don't typically see them i mean i'll see like a little moth here and there but this was in my shoe i just cleaned my place last night i cannot believe the size of this thing like i have a wide angle lens on so you can't really grasp like how big this thing is but i like this is how my morning started okay <laughs> bad dream roach and shoe but I was like, you know what? No, I need to document this because not every morning is going to start perfect. Making espresso, coffee, ice roll. La like, I like I, I actually have no words. I'm going to feel disgusting. I don't think I have enough time to take a shower. But like the fact that my toe touched that, I don't know how I'm still functioning. To say the least. Oh, <laughs> like, man, like this morning, this like morning humbled me. 100%. Like, how do I have a normal day? Uh, did you know that when roaches touch humans, they clean themselves after? Bitch, you're the one with the goddamn disease. <laughs> the fuck? How is it 8 a.m. and it's already 80 degrees? Like, give it up. Are you not tired? All right, so I'm in the car now. I'm about to start heading to my hair appointment. I got Chick-fil-A for breakfast. Can't go wrong. Um, my coffee tasted really bad the first time, so I asked them kindly to remake it, and they did, and it tastes great. I suggest speaking up. It's literally their job. But um, damn, it's bright. I am so happy I woke up at the time that I did and I left at the time I did because it's going to take me 40 minutes to get there because, um, you know, people are on their way to work right now. So the traffic is still bad, although it's early and I'm still going to get there at 9. It says 9.32 and my appointment's at 10. But I also didn't pick up hair, so it gives me plenty of time to go to the beauty supply store down the street there. <gasps> this man has a parrot on his chest. I'm like just realizing that. That's so cute. <laughs>
I actually, I can't remember the last time I've been this sore. And what's crazy is I only did three exercises yesterday. But I did max out on squats. I did Bulgarian split squats. And I did single leg leg curls. So, I guess. But, oh my god. Um, so I wasn't even gonna, like, update tonight. Because I was in the hair salon for nine hours. So you can imagine how I was feeling, you know, breakfast was consumed, but nothing else. And like, that's me. Of course, you know, my girl is braiding my hair. I'm totally feeling for. Yeah, we got through it and it's so worth it. You know, it takes forever, but it's so worth it because with this many damn braids in this small part, oh my gosh, they look good for so long. The feed-ins I got previously was just kind of like a filler hairstyle, but I'm happy to have these back. Yeah, I think this is the smallest, these are the smallest braids I've ever had. But yeah, after my appointment, I went to Tropical Smoothie to get something for dinner. I got it like a buffalo chicken wrap. It was so good. I did not know they had that. And a kiwi quencher smoothie. So good. And and I just showered. I feel amazing. Besides, like, <laughs> besides being extremely sore. So I'm putting some Tiger Balm. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, I really need a massage. And what's crazy is I've been getting texts from Massage Envy for, like, six months saying that I'm able to get a massage. I don't know if they mean for free or if they're just reminding me to use my membership. I'm not sure, but I really want to do that this week because it's so worth it. So worth it. My thighs, my ass, my back, and my core. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the level of soreness I feel right now. And this is day one, so I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. But yeah, I have a nail appointment tomorrow morning. And um, I was supposed to get a soak off after my hair appointment, but I did not have time. So I'm just going an hour earlier and she was, you know, we just added a soak off to my appointment thankfully but yeah um that's pretty much it for tonight i just wanted to like update you guys because I, I just wasn't ready to right after my appointment but we're feeling good now i changed my bed sheets i'm gonna go to bed on some nice clean sheets tonight it's been a good day talk to you guys soon So I definitely wanted to show you guys how I do my lashes in this video because it just makes sense to include and some of you guys ask me I do have I always keep a video linked in my description box of the first ever like I've shown how to do them But it was like a 10 month old video at this point um, But I still use the same exact method, but I typically only leave these on for until like I can't wash these like regular lashes because they're just individuals So once they start to kind of build up oil because my skin gets oily throughout the day or You know like when I typically like to clean real lashes I'll just, when I'll just take them off and redo them So if that happens again throughout this video, I'll definitely show you guys how to do them But if not just know that video is always linked Down below they're super easy to do. I feel like it's easier to do individuals than apply lash strips well but yeah i forgot how much i love emma chamberlain's podcast like i could just listen to her talk all day like even with the headphones it just i was like what should i like i want something in the background but i don't want to listen to music or watch a video so that was really nice and i got laundry done i made my coffee and i got these breakfast bowls last night at publix because i don't feel like making breakfast every morning and i thought like you don't have to be doing that so <laughs> I did something about it. So I'm gonna eat that. I'm obsessed with my hair. She did so good. I am just so appreciative for such talent and patience and dedication. This shit is art. It's perfect. It just makes like the biggest difference. I love it.
so hot i'm like still recovering so it's 93 right now on the car yeah it's literally are you done <laughs> Oh my gosh, at this point, I really just gave up on trying to like put effort into any outfits. I'm really just dressing to survive at this point. Why am I gonna try? It's so much easier to dress when it's cooler out because you can actually like lay your clothes or you could easily just put on a jacket and some jeans and that shit has potential to look fire, but <laughs> anyway, I just got out of Whole Foods because Amazon return. I actually purchased two of one item. Um, this is what my nails turned out looking like. I love them. The short nails have their time to shine, but I was not a fan. I, I'll get them here and there, and then I regret it every time. I just feel like they don't, on me personally, I feel like they don't accentuate my hands in the same way. Like, I just feel, I just love the long nails like these are perfect the short ones just weren't doing enough for me but i do also love how simple and sleek they are anyway it's 1 40 right now i haven't eaten lunch i'm gonna go pick up there's these frozen pizzas i've recently tried from target that like the smallest pizzas with 21 grams of protein in them so not only are they good but they're filling but i haven't got an acai bowl from my go-to spot in say a few months and i've really been craving one yeah that's what we're going to do next I don't really have to say anything. So good. The consistency of this acai is just unmatched. It's like a sherbet, kind of. And it's just incredible. And then they also have these cookies. This is a guava and dulce de leche cookie. I would have never thought to combine the two, but I'm definitely eager to try it. Where's my phone? Oh my gosh, this car is like waiting for me to lay down. <sighs> I didn't want. I didn't want to leave. I'm still taking my picture. Okay. Damn, I don't like when I have. I understand. Trust. I've done it before too. What if I had just parked and my lights were still on? Like, my, I have no indication that I'm leaving. You have food. You have food. We're back home. It's only three. It's crazy. I have all my lights off right now. Besides this countertop lighting. You have food, bro. I don't know what to tell you, gang like literally right in front of your face i got so many of these pizzas from target i got these lean cuisine protein kick pizza pot pizzas so good this is my second time going to get them i'm preheating the oven right now I'm, I'm gonna eat one but a lot of protein in it for the size and they actually taste good um this is just a zd and meat sauce bowl and then this is another oh life cuisine i don't even know if that's the same thing but this is a cheese lovers pizza with 30 grams of protein in it so this is low carb and keto friendly. I don't care. I just saw cheese pizza and protein. Oh, I actually got another one of those. And I got three of these because if you know, you know. And they never stopped being good. So I don't know why I stopped getting them. I just probably needed a, a break. I got some more of my yogurt drink. I already finished the rest. And then I also got this Olipop. I definitely like this brand more than the Poppy, which I tried in another video. But I really like this flavor. The first time I tried it was... Um, my mom actually put me onto this one. But um, Ari actually drinks this as well. And she says she mixes it with a vanilla syrup and lime. And it just sounds like a combination made in heaven. Like, I need to try it. Um, I think she's working right now. So I'm not going to be able to, like, text her how exactly should I do it. But I also don't have the patience to wait. So she's probably going to watch this, like, <laughs> laughing. I really want to drink it out of the can. Because something about drinking soda out of a can just, it's just right. I got one lime. I'm gonna cut it open, roll it around to get all the juices flowing. Okay, I'm just gonna put like a quarter of the lime in there, squeeze it. Oop. Okay, that one just got talky dust all over it. I love lime. I'm gonna do the switch to start. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna just squeeze it in like this. Can't be too complicated, right? Do a decent amount because I love me some lime. And I already have vanilla. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this because it's fairly sweet. And it's so only clean straw I have is a big ass boba straw. Try to mix it. I should really put this in a glass cup, but I'm not gonna do it. I think I need more. Okay, so I'm gonna do a whole half of a lime. I'm gonna do a little more vanilla too, because I couldn't taste it either. I still don't taste the difference. All right, let me add even more lime. I love my nails. It's crazy because I haven't had long nails. I mean, I had those last nails on for three weeks and they were little to no added length to my nails and like no adjustment at all. Actually, some of this lime would probably be good on these Takis. 
This is why you don't shop or make decisions on an empty stomach. Because it could affect what you buy and also <laughs> the way you act. Did my straw break? It did. Actually, I like this one. I have this tasty now. It's like a very slight difference, but it's so good. Yeah, Olipop's way better. Honestly, it's so easy for me to like fix my sleep schedule because if I want to then I'm going to like I'm going to do what it takes to fix it. Um, and then obviously Oh, that's another thing that happens. Not forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, like the earlier you wake up You're gonna get tired earlier. It just all kind of comes together. So I went to bed at 11:30 last night I think I was actually knocked out by 11:30, and it just feels so good Like I wake up rested my alarm was also super quiet and I still woke up so I am very happy about that. Wrote in my five minute journal. I made breakfast. I'm still in the process of eating it. I made my coffee. It's just been a good morning. I have an appointment at 10 for a massage. I cannot wait. It has been, I've only had one massage in the last few years, which I feel like is pretty average, honestly. Like, I feel like not many people go out of their way to get massages. I feel like we all need one. We just don't really like go out of our way to get it. What really sparked it for me is this past workout it made me extremely sore. I'm feeling a lot better today because it's day three, but it could still very much, oh my gosh, it'll be so nice. Like, I just need someone to like, this is not something I'm going to be recording. Wrong website. Not, nah, but like, obviously I'm not going to set up the camera when I get a massage, but it is something I'm going to be doing. And I do have an appointment I can take you guys to afterwards. guys so i'm on my way to my massage appointment i'm gonna get there at 9 58 my appointment's at 10. i brought my canon g7x because well i'm just gonna leave it in the car anyways there's literally nothing that needs to be recorded in more than 1080p in, in massage envy damn is it nice to hold around like this handheld camera like i forgot how nice it is just to hold it and you know it's just good to have the flexibility i like both but this is like literally a vlogging camera I'm 
out of my appointment so i actually have a massage envy membership and i know i get charged for it i just never come so my visit was technically it was like 70 dollars, but it feels like it was free what do they call that girl math yeah um and i asked okay so if i come back for next time what would my how much would it be she said i have nine sessions available like i could have just been coming and they do other things besides massages they do like the hot stones they do facials like i could really be getting all of this done and i just don't but i really oh my gosh i feel so much better and it's crazy because whenever you get a massage you can really feel where you're super tense yeah and he told me to make sure i'm stretching and drinking a lot of water and i'm not amazing at either especially stretching like i really do i do my dynamic stretches at the beginning of my workout and then i just leap after like with a pump no cool down no nothing that is horrible and recovery i should really be prioritizing it like i do my workouts because you're basically creating little micro tears in your muscles every time you work out and then no recovery that's crazy <laughs> that's really crazy but i have a whole foam roller that i should start bringing to the gym to do like after my workouts but i feel amazing right now like i feel like i could hit the gym now Um, I got the honey milk tea. I've been wanting to go try a lot of places down there too. What is that? It's squares. <laughs> it's um coffee jelly because they didn't have boba ready oh. yet. They said it'll be ready at 12. Oh my God, but that's like really all I go for. <laughs> I know. It was a lot of coffee today. Really? All right, I'm back in the car. So I went to my go-to boba spot. They don't have boba until 12. It wasn't ready. Is it boba worth the wait? Yes, but I didn't want to stay there for another 40 minutes. So I got my honey milk tea that I normally get, but he recommended the coffee jelly. So that's what these little blocks are that the man in the shop was asking about. And um, pudding as well. Yeah, it's still really good. The jelly still gives it, there's the pudding. Let's see, like that. Yeah, the consistency is still nice, like boba. And then there's a smoke shop close by, and I specifically went for incense because there's this certain brand of incense that it's my, like, I've just loved them. I used to burn them in my room all the time, and I only ever see them at certain gas stations or um, smoke shops. I got strawberry, cherry, a few cotton candy, and then the guy in the shop recommended I get these. I think they're a little more authentic. Yes, I love incense. I have an incense holder. So nice. Oh, they just smell so good. I kind of want to film with this camera for the rest of the day. Am I a bad person for being as bad as men when you see a fat ass walking down the street? Like, literally, God damn. <laughs> I've been breaking my neck too. to have a fresh set on the toes they were definitely rounding out dulling out them shits felt like dino claws in my shoes when they start to feel any different than regular toe nails it's time to get them done they're a little overgrown it had been like over a month but when i get colors that are really neutral first of all i'm just i don't need to get my feet done. twice a month and also when you get like a more neutral color you can't even really tell it grew out like i had french and it still looked wearable and now i got pretty much the same color that i got on my nails so we're matching it's dark obviously um it's eight o'clock and i'm currently on my way to pick up some food i ordered takeout at sushi sake i ordered steak hibachi okay and i was on the uber eats app 
about to order it but I just told myself a couple nights ago we're going to exercise our driving ability when we want to order food you have a car and your lazy big bitch ass is gonna sit home and order food when you have every possible way to pick it up yourself plus it's so much less expensive it's already expensive as is it's a 32 dollars meal so you know it's steak like it's not the cheapest and then on top of taxes and fees all the excess fees like it just makes you feel so guilty for ordering literally an extra fee for anything you can imagine so yeah um i've eaten like microwaved processed food all day so like i've eaten three times so i feel nourished but i mean i'm still eating takeout all right, I will be there at 822. You know the one thing I completely forgot? White sauce. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, it's still gonna be good. I just tasted the rice, it's good by itself, but no white sauce. I really should have checked my bag before I left. I just didn't think to ask for it. Mmm, steak, mm. zucchini, mushroom, I love mushrooms, oh my god, yep, no white sauce, but it's okay, I forgot I had this stuff in the fridge, I don't, literally no label on it whatsoever, so I don't know if it's expired, and I've had this for quite some time, but this is QP mayo, which is like, um, I think it's Japanese. And I feel like this will be like, maybe a little bit similar. Bro, I'm so irritable, like the sound effects of text and stuff is like bothering me. It's not texting. I'm gonna mix something and try it. Mmm, mmm, damn. Yeah, it actually tastes the exact same.
Good morning. 7.36 in the morning. I woke up like a little after 7, I think. Didn't have the best night's sleep. I kept waking up. Ew. I woke up around 3. Hot as hell. So for some reason, my AC wasn't all the way down. It was at 71. So put that bitch. <laughs> Put it down to 70 or yeah 65 i just kept waking up like i feel like i woke up at least three times i ripped my eyelashes off this morning uh, last night ari came over we had like a girls night it was so fun super chill just at home hang out still pertaining to our sleep schedules like she left around 10 30. i was asleep by 11 30. um and yeah we just did like a little we played this game which i've had for years and i've like never really used like that got wing stop and we were just chilling yeah it was a good time and then i'm gonna go head to a starbucks more in like the hollywood area so we can kind of like meet a little more in the middle but yeah i worked out yesterday that's all i filmed i did deadlifts okay we were deadlifting 165 with these nails there is absolutely no excuse already got me this candle i was so surprised and so thankful oh my gosh she got it from target and it smells so good i love the smell of it and i was just telling her yesterday like i wish i got a candle so like we could like set the vibe set the mood for our girls night she bought me one so thoughtful seriously so the book that i'm reading the untethered soul i've actually had that book for years and i never finished it just simply due to yeah just kind of falling off from it but it's so beneficial and i really love it my mom originally gave me that book well it's basically teaching about your consciousness which everybody has just not everybody taps into it really they kind of just go throughout their day becoming fully um kind of engaged with whatever emotion they're feeling like positive negative and it's just kind of talking about how you experience certain feelings emotions experiences and it's easy you know to feel a certain way for example something bad happened it could be so easy to like you feel it coming up just frustrated and you can literally start to feel your body like tense up you can feel it coming and it's just trying to teach you how to like stay above that and although you feel those emotions it's trying to teach how to just kind of let them pass instead of like focusing your consciousness on that specific feeling because you know what the moment you do and you don't just let it pass which is obviously so much easier said than done you kind of become one with that feeling although that feeling is not you like you can kind of watch it without being a part of it if you just sit in like your seat of consciousness and kind of just watch it pass and not um get absorbed into it like i read a page of it or i sent a picture of it to a friend and it was just it makes you very aware of your inner dialogue which most of us have some of us some people do not have an inner dialogue at all which is mind-blowing to me because i subconsciously talk to myself throughout the entire day like conversations back and forth and it kind of talks about imagine hanging out with that person for a day like take that out which isn't you like take that inner dialogue and hang out with it for a day you probably absolutely hate their guts like you would not not someone you'd really want to be hanging around and it just says how like we're so easy to be so considerate of its thoughts but why because it can say things like you look crazy why are you doing this you should be embarrassed everybody's looking at you but like, why are you so considered but considerate about what it has to say because how much of that is actually true like do you actually look crazy do you actually look bad? Like it has nothing to do with real life at all. It's just trying to like basically commentate everything it observes. But this is kind of like referring, you know, it was, it came from another page, but just like going into the next one, it says, this is also true of hearing the voice inside. It doesn't make any difference what it's saying. You are the one who is aware of it. As long as you think that one thing it's saying is you, but the other thing it's saying is not you, you've lost your objectivity. You may want to think of yourself as the part that says the nice things, but that's still the voice talking. You may like what it says, but it's not you. There's nothing more important to true growth than realizing that you are not the voice of the mind. You are the one who hears it. If you don't understand this, you will try to figure out which of the many things the voice says it's really you says is really you people go through so many changes in the name of trying to find myself they want to discover which of these aspects of their personality is who they really are the answer is simple none of them if you watch it objectively you will come to see that much of what the voice says is meaningless most of the talking is just a waste of time and energy the truth is that most of life will unfold in accordance with forces far outside your control regardless of what your mind says about it it's like sitting down at night and deciding whether you want the sun to come up in the morning the bottom line is the sun will come up and the sun will go down billions of things are going on in the world you 
you can think about it all you want, but life is still gonna keep happening. In fact, your thoughts have far less impact on this world than you would like to think. If you're willing to be objective and watch all of your thoughts, you will see that the vast majority of them have no relevance. They have no effect on anything or anybody except you. They are simply making you feel better or worse about what is going on now, what has gone on in the past, or what might go on in the future. If you spend your time hoping that it doesn't rain tomorrow, you are wasting your time. Your thoughts don't change the rain. You will someday come to see that there is no use for that incessant internal chatter. And there's no reason to constantly attempt to figure everything out. Eventually, you will see that the real cause of problems is not life itself. It's the commotion the mind makes about life that really causes problems. Now this raises a serious question. If so much of what your voice says is meaningless and unnecessary, then why does it even exist? The secret to answering this question lies in understanding why it says what it says, blah, 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 blah. That's the whole page. But yeah, it's very beneficial to say the least. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave the book down below because I feel like it's a like necessary read for anyone. I think anybody could benefit from it. It's really up to you if you, you're you interested in that type of thing. Um, But it's something we all have, like we all have consciousness. Yeah, just most people kind of just, their consciousness just kind of goes to, because consciousness like, it's gonna be drawn to whatever is the most exciting, the most distracting. So typically people just kind of go with that and they just kind of go throughout life that way. Um, so it kind of just makes you question some of those things. Why is it saying I need water, but I don't? So it is now the next evening. In today's video, we got my hair done, we got a massage, we got my nails done, my toes, showed you guys how to do my lashes. We went to the gym. I'd say it was a pretty eventful and we have made it to the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys ever want content to watch when I'm not uploading, I suggest you watching both Simi and Kobe, my brothers, make content here on YouTube as well. Their content's literally better than mine and they deserve so much recognition and support and love. So um, I'm gonna leave both of their channels linked down below. I strongly suggest you guys check them out. Whether you're into lifestyle content or gaming, they got you covered. Super happy to just be in bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.